That's where bees live. Behind us? Or behind the camera? Yeah. Good morning, guys. We are going to do a garden tour this morning. It is so beautiful out. I love this time of the morning where it's just like the sun is just rising and the garden just looks so pretty at this time of day. So let's show you what's grown in our 3,000 square foot back to Eden style garden. First off, not actually in our garden, are our blackberry bushes. We've harvested a lot of berries off of these thorny wild brambles, but very soon these guys are going to be producing. Oh, look at that. That guy is almost ready. Wowzer, I didn't realize we had one so close. Anyway, these guys are gonna be producing soon and next year's canes are going a little crazy so I gotta figure out what to do with them because they're gonna start tip rooting probably pretty soon and spreading, which is fine. But yeah, I wanna control it. I'm down here to the garden. Doesn't it look so pretty in the sunshine? Doesn't this girl look so pretty in the sunshine? Yeah. This is a sunflower. How tall is a sunflower? Really big. It's like taller than daddy, right? Yes. Okay, so one addition from last time, my sister helped me bring down my bench so I could just sit here, you know, some morning and look at my garden. My rosemaries are doing okay. This one I think got a little dried out and he might not come back. I don't know, I might have killed him. The rest of them, I just need to up pot them. Yeah, your hens and chicks, they look a little soggy. They might need to go on the ground. Like just right on the ground. Okay, so just some beauty over here. Look at these beans. Let's see, which side should we start on? Well, let's start on this side because this is what we started last time. Okay, so our, you know, our melon patch over here is going crazy. Still got that big old watermelon back there. Lots of melons inside of here. Some honeydew back there. Another can um, watermelon. I do have one bean problem this year, and I need to remember this for next year and future crops of green beans. Mexican bean beetle. Looks like a ladybug. Mm, yeah, but they're really nasty. They get larvae all over the place and they munch the leaves down to like skeletons and I'm not really sure yet what will kill them. So if you have any ideas of how to get rid of Mexican bean beetles or prevent them or like their enemy or something, let me know. Cause yeah, I don't think my beans are gonna do super amazing. Maybe next crop. My tomatoes haven't grown a ton like upwards I feel like since last time I filmed a video. That one maybe because it needs to be tied up more but some of these have not. I did find a hornworm one day. Nasty thing in the world. Like I saw some droppings and I went to go investigate what was the cause of the droppings and I was looking around for basically an army worm. And then I touched something squishy. Ooh, they're so bad. So I sprayed everything with BT, which is supposed to kill them. And I'm not seeing any more army worms or hornworms. Yeah, so hopefully it stays that way for the rest of the year. Army worms are the white ones. Really? Is them in their own corn? Those are corn worms. Those are kind of brownish. Brown is white. Yeah. Anyway, so our tomatoes, they're getting ready to ripen. Our sweet potatoes, they're doing okay. They are growing slowly. Those guys over there look probably a little bit better. That random cantaloupe is taking over more than you know, my sweet potatoes. These peppers here that I planted sing it are starting to put on a bunch of peppers down in there, so that is exciting. These peppers, the jalapenos, we never actually harvested any when my sisters were here, because they just kind of seemed a little small still. Let's see. Yeah, they're still a little bit small, I feel like. We did harvest a bunch of the banana peppers, though. I think we've picked maybe 20 of them so far, which is crazy to me. The poblanos are coming on strong. We're gonna have a lot of those here soon. Oh man, I could pick some of those, I guess. They're really big. We have not eggplant. Yet. Um, not yet, because I need something to do with it first, okay? We can um, make dinner with it. What could we make with it? I have to think. Okay, they're kind of spicy, so that's why we got to think really good about what we're going to make with them. But we do have some eggplants over here. Let's see, where did they go? Make here, wraps. You could make what? You could make a... Jalapeno wraps. Oh, like those stuffed pepper thingies, like with the cream cheese and the bacon. Yeah, those are pretty good. You can make them. And then there's an eggplant in there. Then you can make one. There are more, but I'm just not seeing any right now. There's a little guy on that one. 
Anyway, those eggplants are looking so much better than last Could year. We pick one for tonight? How about we wait till we're ready till we decide what we're gonna make and then we can, okay? I know you just love to pick. Look, here's a tomato. Kind of cracked a little bit probably from the rain yesterday, but hopefully it won't be too bad. But it's blushing, so it's almost ready. There's a blushing tomato back in there that is almost ready. Super exciting. Bugs just leave my crops alone. Anyway, so now we have our peppers down here. Look at some of these peppers. Like this guy, this huge pepper. It's about six inches long, still waiting for it to turn red. But these guys down here. Wow, look at this pepper plant, okay? I don't remember the name of this pepper. I think it's probably a Grand Bell or something. But look at that. That guy is that big, and I can't even fit my hand around him. He is so big. And there's, I think, three, oh, there's four peppers like that on here. Huge, 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 huge. I picked a Roma, actually I picked two Roma tomatoes the other day, they were doing well. And we picked a bunch of cherry tomatoes. It's kind of gotten a little crazy and out of control, but it's fine. <laughs> okay, so that's our proper row. We talked about that already. Corn is tasseling, and I mean, it's gonna be ready just in a few days. So that's exciting. I've been spraying it with BT to keep the corn worms, army worms, etc., off of it. So hopefully that will work. The potatoes, well, potatoes, it's a race between me and the bulls. Which one will harvest the potatoes first? Um, we've got a few pounds, not a crazy lot, but a few. And some of them have been really nice. Um, some of them have been really small because I probably picked them a little too early. But last night I just roasted some of the small ones up with some butter and salt and garlic powder. And oh, they were so good. Just left them whole. So delicious. Um, but I'd love to get more than just little potatoes from here. Or munched potatoes. So we'll see how they do. The one that you wanted to pick us that we could pick today. Oh, you wanted to pick it this morning? Maybe when we get up there again. We have a sunflower blooming. It's very short. I'm pretty sure this was one that I saved last year that I thought was going to be like a super tall one. Uh, yeah, nope. It's multi-headed short. But some of these guys got tall. We need to plant some pull beans around them. Right, Anna? Because we forgot to do that. Anyway, she's got lots of little beautiful flowers around here. I love these flowers over here. Come in. Yeah, come into your little thing. These flowers are probably my come favorite in, flowers in, over here. In. What do you see? <gasps> Yay! Another bloom. So beautiful. And I love that red zinnia. Also my favorite. Don't you love that? I do love that one too. But I might like the red one more. I don't know. Anna's carrots are finally growing in there. Oh, there's a, here's a potato bug, not a potato bug, one of these silly leaf hopper bugs. Oh, I think they escaped out of there. He did not die last night when I put, chucked him in there. Anyway, um, we got some flowers, eggplant, watermelon are finally taken off. A few more flowers over here. My mustard went to seed. Um, this kind of needs to be cleaned out, I think. Um, some of my melons, this plant especially, some of the leaves are just wilting and dying, and I don't know what is causing it. It's not a vole underneath that I can tell, and it's not the whole plant yet, so I'm not really sure what's going on. I don't know if it's too dry, what the deal is. My lettuce has come back, but I think it's probably about ready to bolt. My onions are definitely going to be harvested probably the end of this week, early next week, which is exciting. Lots of melon vines just taking over here, which is amazing. Random. This is one tomato plant right here. Huge. Just taking over that zinnia. Oh look, there's a baby watermelon. That is exciting. Also, this watermelon just kind of looks almost like it got frosted, but of course it did not. I have no clue why why these leaves are just black and like done. Weird. We harvested some beets, and they were so delicious. Those guys are almost ready. So I just chopped up the beets, put them in a little foil pack, some butter and salt. Roasted them on the grill. Oh my, so good and so easy. These sweet potatoes over here are doing well. I did harvest the carrots, but I left a bunch to grow. We got eight pounds, I think, of carrots so far. 
But I left a bunch because they were still little, so we still have a bunch more to pick. Crazy more melons. Wild cherry tomato, probably. Bush that I need to prune, I think. Some dill, melons, make one peanut plant that is left. These nice looking sweet potatoes are looking so good because the groundhog has not discovered them. Some beauty. As far as harvested most of the potatoes out of this section, there's just one left. And I pulled out the lettuce that was going to seed. The onions are almost done. This is my favorite part of the garden too. Beautiful, beautiful zinnias. So then we have our pole beans growing. They're getting bigger. Starting to put on a lot, which is exciting. They don't seem as bothered by the bug damage as these guys did. The dragon tongue, tongue beans are almost completely leafless, I feel like. Um, I mean, they, they have crossed over and reached the top, all of them. These long beans that my friend Heather gave me, they are putting on some long beans. I mean, that's probably, I don't know, eight inches long so far. I have yet to try them. I picked a few last night, but I haven't tried them yet. Um, the dill making little heads, which is pretty fun. It smells so good. Look at this, guys. A little tiny baby cucumber. Anna and I are very excited for cucumbers to come back. Aren't we? Are you excited for them? A big hunk of bait dill when them are ready. Yeah, when it's time for dill pickles. Yeah. Um, these melons are still trying to trained to climb. They don't really love climbing, but we're trying to make them want to climb. These random tomatoes are still doing okay. I need to trellis this guy. Seeing him up on a stake because he just keeps flopping over. Oh, this guy perked up a little bit. I thought he was going to get eaten by the voles because he was flopping over a little bit. Anyway, look at these nasturtiums. They are so full of blooms. Wow. And the strawberries have been ready to be picked again. We've picked a bunch. Some of them are good. Some of them aren't as good as the first batch. And it could just be because we haven't had a lot of rain. Eat it. I don't want to eat it. You can eat it. I don't like them. Lots of tomatoes over here. And the nasturtiums over here. And that cilantro that I really need to harvest the seeds from if I'm going to harvest it. Or I just let it go to seed right there. <laughs> Alright. Which potato plant are we going to harvest? Oh, I'm not real. Ah! Did I step on your foot? I'm sorry. No. We could harvest either this guy or let's harvest this guy in here. Okay. You want to harvest him? Mm. Hey, what'd you find? One potato. One potato? There's one bush. There's another potato. Both of them. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that guy's really little, huh? Mm. This guy looks like he's kind of sprouting a little bit. Which one? This guy, right here. You can just put this guy in my hand. It's fine. We can make him apart later. It was dirt. Alright. Look in your dirt. Where you pulled up. I think there's some more. There is. It's like treasure hunting, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Ah! You can't hold them all. Let's see if we can find any more. The soil underneath here is pretty amazing. Nope. That's probably it. That's okay. Not bad. We should probably take them up to the house though, huh? Don't want to forget them. Here, I'll grab these guys. So that's about kind of what we've been getting from a plant if the wolves have not found them. You know, a few baby potatoes. No one might have needed a little bit longer, but anyway. Look at all those potatoes you got. We have one random mustard plant over here. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm going to cook it someday soon because those are some big leaves. What do you have? That is a tiny baby potato. Wow. That is super tiny. 
that is it for this garden tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you liked it, don't give it a thumbs down. We want them to give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below what's growing in your garden, what adventures you're having gardening and Pull potatoes things, now. <laughs> things you're harvesting. Yeah, your potatoes might be ready if you planted around the same time we did. Just a thought, right? We, those were probably like, we planted like March-ish. Plant your potatoes now. Early April and they're starting to come in. Anyway, we'll be swimming in potatoes hopefully soon and lots of other garden veggies very soon. Pull your potatoes now. You love pulling the potatoes? It's so fun to find the little treasures in there. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Oh, I forgot one more thing. We planted last week a whole bunch of squash and cucumber seeds up at the house just to get them started. And then I'll trans transplant them out soon. Um, trying to figure out where I'm gonna put all the stuff that I started because I have a lot and they're squashy things so they're gonna sprawl. <laughs> Pretty good, but it'll be an adventure. I was hoping to put more up the trellis, but my trellis is kind of full and nothing is like really done yet. The pole beans took a little bit longer. What am I? The pole beans took a little bit longer to get going than I thought they were gonna be because I thought they were gonna be about dead by now, but it's okay. I will find a spot for them all somehow. There's empty spaces. I mean, yeah. I mean, I can put a cucumber up a tea post, I feel like, too. So that will be fine. But yeah, that's just a little bit more of the adventure.